Hey everybody, Lance from Permanent Records here. It's that time of year again. It is Record Store Day time. Every third Saturday of April is Record Store Day. Most of you are probably already aware of that. Record Store Day started way back, I think in uh, 2008 or something like that. A couple of years after we started our first store in Chicago, and we have participated in Record Store Day ever since the beginning. Um, we have done it all sorts of different ways over the years. We've uh, had midnight sales, we've opened at 5 a.m. and so on and so, th so forth. We've had in-store performances all day at the shop in the past, um, and we've gone till the wee hours of the morning. We've done after parties and so on and so forth. Uh, we are always stoked about Record Store Day. Not every store and not every customer feels the same way about Record Store Day, um, but that's neither here nor there. We don't get every single Record Store Day exclusive, but we do get as many as we think we can sell. And we also emphasize the Record Store Day exclusives that we are the most excited about and won't be bummed on having after Record Store Day. So we go hard on those particular releases. Um, one of those releases is right here. This record is one that has been in need of a proper reissue for a very long time. It's an amazing late 60s psychedelic rock album. It is this self-titled Gandalf album. Uh, Jackpot did the reissue of this one. Uh, this was originally released on Capitol Records in 1969, and this is a stunning psych record. Uh, it's on the poppier side of things, uh, more poppy than most of the psych that I've talked about on this channel anyway, um, but it's just unbelievably well put together and the songs are amazing. The vibe is really laid back and just kind of soothing in a very special way. There are very few psych records that sound uh, quite like this Gandalf record. I'm really excited about this one. Um, that, <laughs> in addition to the uh, Gandalf record, we have two, technically two, exclusive releases that we worked on this year for Record Store Day. The first of which is this seven inch EP reissued by Body Snatchers. Body Snatchers were the first Austin punk, uh, Austin, Texas punk band, and they self-released this EP back then. This thing's amazing. Uh, if you like punk, early punk records and stuff that has been comped on Killed by Death and Bloodstains, then this is gonna be for you. Uh, the song Are You Into Destruction was on one of those comps, um, and a couple of other tracks have been comped as well, but this is the first time since its original release that it's been uh, repressed on vinyl, and uh, yeah, they're limited to 300 copies on this one. We will have a bunch of these in the shop on Saturday, April 20th. Um, I, like I do with Riding Easy regularly, did the r, &R work on that one, and um, I'm super stoked on it. Another one that Permanent Records teamed up with Riding Easy on is this Band X record. It's called The Best of Band X. This is a vibey, literally vibey jazz funk record. Um, out of the uh, Northeast, I forget if it's Massachusetts off the top of my head now, I'm spacing. But anyway, Band X was the project uh, led by Craig Payton, who went on to have an illustrious uh, solo career. He was a vibraphonist and is a vibraphonist uh, who fancied himself the, to be the Jimi Hendrix of the vibraphone. Uh, that's what we have on in the background, if you can hear uh, what's playing now. Um, yeah, this is, uh, like I said, it was originally released in 1976. It's a private pressing, um, and the stats on Discogs on this one are crazy. There's like 80 halves and 890 wants or something, and uh, yeah, it's very rare. Uh, I was lucky enough to find an original copy of this in Texas not too long ago, uh, and I tracked down Craig Payton, and I uh, licensed this record with Riding Easy. I think we did a thousand copies of this, um, and yeah, they will surely be 
uh, gone in uh, with the quickness on uh, Record Store Day. But Permanent Records will have a bunch of these uh, available as well. All right, so um, that's it for the exclusives we were involved in. But April 20th is also the release date of Brown Acid every year. On 420 and Halloween, we put out a new volume of Brown Acid, and this year is no different. We're up to 18 volumes of Brown Acid, and we will have plenty of copies of Brown Acid the 18th trip. This, as many of you already know, is my baby. I curate the track listing. I do all the A&R and um, yeah, curation of the compilation series, and I have since the beginning. On this one, we have Backjack, a band from Missouri that I'm really stoked to have on this one, the Smokin' Buku Band, Atlantis, Tommy Stewart and the Rubber Band, the Chicago Triangle. We reissued the Chicago Triangle LP uh, on Permanent many years back. Parchment Farm, which is related to Backjack, another band from Missouri. Um, and both of those bands, we have full length albums of unreleased material uh, on deck with uh, Glory, which is the name that Damnation of Adam Blessing went by after they ditched that name. Uh, Dalquist, The Pawnbrokers, and Brothers of the Ghetto. So get down with some hard and heavy rock from the underground come down on Brown Acid, the 18th trip uh, out for the first time on Record Store Day 2024. Not a Record Store Day exclusive, but it is uh, being released on Record Store Day. So for the rest of this video, I think I'm just gonna grab some records out of the bins here and just show them so you can see, uh, get a taste of what we'll have uh, on Record Store Day as far as the exclusives are concerned. We've received the majority of the orders uh, and shipments that uh, we expect to get, but I think there are still a few things on the way. So do not consider this video to be the uh, an exhaustive list of what we will have, but it is, I think, probably the majority of what we'll have. So we have this Black Crows seven inch. We have uh, Chaffed GBI, which is a project of, um, Scott Ian from Anthrax, Dave Grohl of Foo Fighters, of course, and Nirvana, and uh, Charlie Benanti. Um, got a few copies of that. We got the Sleater Kenny, the new Sleater Kenny 7 inch, uh, a Kate Bush picture disc 10 inch. Let's see what else is in the bins here. Um, and I'm just going to pull out one copy. Uh, of each title as opposed to showing off exactly how many we got we got this so uh, Just so you know, we have multiple copies of many of these releases some we did just get one of we have no control over Exactly how many copies we get allocated. We just place the order and cross our fingers. So we got this John Lennon uh, mind games EP a reissue of In Casino Out by At The Drive-In. Spent a lot of time with that one when it first came out. Um, Fleetwood Mac Rumors picture disc. We have this South Park related uh, Trey Parker, Matt Stone, uh, 25th anniversary concert thing with Ween and Primus on it. Uh, almost every record store day includes a David Bowie release, and this record store day is no different. We have Waiting in the Sky there. We have uh, this David Byrne Hard Times record. Um, almost every record store day also includes a Jerry Garcia and or a Grateful Dead record, and this record store day is no different with that Jerry Garcia box set. We have a Nas release of Illmatic remixes and rarities, an exclusive Record Store Day uh, colored vinyl variant of the brand new Pearl Jam album, Dark Matter. Let's see what else do we have in here. Here's an oddball one, uh, Paulie Shore and the Krusties, Crustopolis Volume 1. I think he does a bunch of covers on this album. Yeah, there's a cover of A Whole Lot of Love and Celebrity Skin, Rocket Man, and uh, uh, I haven't heard this yet, but it looks like a lot of fun. Um, there's a reissue of Nocturne by Susie and the Banshees. 
a uh, reissue on gold nugget colored vinyl of the uh, Sonic Youth Hits Are For Squares compilation. Um, a live in Chicago 1976 to 1977 Sun Ra record. We have Frank Zappa for President. Uh, this is a 2016 compilation showcasing Zappa's political side. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's move this crate a little closer. A reissue of Lady Tron, uh, Light and Magic. We have Lil Wayne. Um, that is Sorry for the Wait. Uh, a reissue of the Lost in Translation soundtrack. It's got a lot of great stuff on it. Sophia Coppola film. Um, starring Bill Murray and uh, Scarlett Johansson. Uh, a, um, yeah, Mexican Nuggets comp featuring Los Absin, a, a bunch of 60s, um, I believe Latin and uh, Latin American uh, garage rock bands, garage and psych. We got Motorhead, uh, Remorse No. I can't remember what the details on this uh, redo is, but it features uh, previously unreleased rare and live tracks. So there you have that. Uh, we got the 1975 live at Gorilla Manchester from 2023. We got the deluxe reissue of Willie Nelson's classic Faces and Stages album. All the info on these releases can be found on the Record Store Day website if you're curious as to what might be included on each one of these releases. Uh, this is a North Mississippi All-Stars reissue of Shake Hands with Shorty. We have a, I believe, 12-inch single of uh, Notorious B.I.G. Um, th no, this is an instrumental compilation. Um, we have... Uh, that's an LP, not a 12 inch. Paramore, uh, This Is Why uh, reissue. Paramore happens to be the record store to ambassadors this year. We got an amazing reissue of an incredible, I think this is the first Parliament um, LP, Osmium, a deluxe expanded edition of their classic debut. Uh, crazy psychedelic funk stuff, as you know. This is a live Pixies record from Red Rocks 2005. And lastly, in this crate, we have Prince Buster back to where it all began, the Blue Beat years. Uh, killer reggae stuff there. <laughs> all right. I probably should have gotten this stuff a little closer to me before I started this video. Here's that Grateful Dead box set that I mentioned earlier. This is Nightfall of Diamonds. This is a complete show from uh, 1989. Let's see what else we got in here. We got a picture disc, an air picture disc. We got Blessed Union of the Souls. Up next is Captain Beefheart, the Spotlight Kid. This looks to be a yeah, deluxe uh, double LP expanded reissue. Um, we got reissue Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. We got Gene Clark, The Lost Studio Sessions, 1964 to 1982. Love me some Gene Clark. Let's see what else we got here. We got the Cranberries, Bury the Hatchet reissue. That's a hard one to find. Um, nice to have that back in print for a short while at least. We got the Obligatory Cure picture disc. This year brings us the Top LP. Uh, a reissue of the Even More Dazed and Confused soundtrack. Dead by Sunrise, Out of Ashes. This is a deluxe edition uh, featuring Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park. A cool live De La Soul LP. 
We got The Doors live uh, from September 20th, 1968 in Stockholm. We have Dr. John Gree Gree Gumbo Yaya singles, 1968 to 1974. We have Fetty Wap, the reissue of that LP. Next is Filter. This is a very best of filter. The uh, 90s, well, mostly 90s industrial rock band Fleet Foxes live on Boston Harbor. We have a new release, a live at Levitation LP by Frankie and the Witch Fingers. The G Love and Special Sauce 30th Anniversary Double LP Edition of the, I believe, self-titled album, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, because I like Cold Myth with Jesus. And then we got uh, picture discs of George Harrison's uh, Wonderwall music soundtrack and his avant-garde synthesizer album the electronic sound and we also have lives uh, lives hives the black and white album a reissue of that one we also have hoover 3's quest for blood that's a, an early recording by hoover 3 and that's the first time this has been on vinyl we got uh, this jazz dispensary compilation. These comps are so great and they always do really well for us, so we stock up on them. Uh, there's no track listing on the outside of the jacket, but uh, it says it includes uh, tracks by Joe Henderson, Gary Bartz, Rand Blake, uh, Azar Lawrence, AK Salim, and, um, and others. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, I highly recommend checking out the jazz dispensary comps from this year and the past. Uh, reissue of the legendary Rain Parade, uh, Emergency Third Rail Power Trip, uh, Paisley Underground album uh, from right here in Los Angeles. Rain Parade have played at the Roadhouse. Great show. Uh, we got Ramones 1975 Sire Demos. That's a super cool release for sure. Um, next is a Replacements Live at the Cabaret Metro 1986. Love me some Replacements. Um, Paul Westerberg is a genius. We got the, um, again, obligatory, super limited edition exclusive uh, colored vinyl uh, reissue of the Rolling Stones self-titled album here. There's almost always a super limited uh, Rolling Stones release uh, on Record Store Day, and this year there's two. Uh, this one is live at the Racket, New York City from 2023. We have the classic Todd album by Todd Rundgren. Um, again, many of these releases are on limited edition colored vinyl and many of them will be available on Record Store Day. And then never again. This is uh, the Gil Scott Heron, Brian Jackson album uh, from, uh, what year is this from? Does it say? I don't recall, late 70s, I believe. Anyway, Strata East release, uh, Winter in America. That's a great one. And let's see. Next is Screaming Trees. Weird things happen. This looks to be never before heard unreleased material by Mark Lanigan's band before going solo. We got Nancy Sinatra. How does that grab you? This looks to be a deluxe reissue um, in a gatefold jacket, unlike the original, which was a single sleeve. Presumably has lots of extra stuff happening there. 40th anniversary of two Sisters of Mercy EPs combined on one LP. Let's see. We got 
a deluxe reissue of the Giorgio Moroder produced Sparks album, number one in Heaven. My favorite um, Sparks album, I think. There's so many good ones, it's hard to choose just one. The soundtrack to The Spawn. Uh, let's see what else. Joe Strummer and the Mescaleros rock art in the X-ray style. Joe Strummer from The Clash, of course. But I don't need to tell you that. Uh, what do we have here? This is Two Chains. Which album is it? Welcome to Collygrove with Lil Wayne. That's that one. And then we have Talking Heads live at WCOZ. 1977. So many good releases this year. We got Team Sleep. Uh, this is Deftones related. Um, yeah. I don't know if this was ever pressed on vinyl before, but here it is now. Then Lizzie, Live and Dangerous at Hammersmith from 1976. You never have enough Thin Lizzy in your collection. This is a James Eha from Smashing Pumpkins related record, Tinted Windows. Also probably on vinyl for the first time. We got the a reissue of an early Unwritten Law album called Blue Room. Unwritten Law doesn't get talked about much, but if you like 90s pop punk, uh, I highly recommend checking them out. You got a compilation um, of Westbound Records material, including Funkadelic, Ohio Players, The Counts, etc. Um, yeah, I mean, Westbound was such a great label, um, and it's cool to see that uh, Org or ORG Music and Westbound are teaming up to. Uh, repress some of that stuff on wax and I think that compilation is kind of a primer or primer if you will uh, for what's to come you got an expanded uh, edition of the whole love by Wilco's is a heavy-duty box set uh, let's see what else and we got Witchfinder General death penalty reissue for you metalheads out there and we got uh, Neil Young fucking up and <laughs> all its ragged glory that's a double lp on uh, limited edition clear vinyl and then last box here at least of the stuff we've received already a reissue of the classic la punk uh album a minute to pray a second to die by the flesh eaters originally on ruby records this album is fantastic, SRC. Um, this is origin was originally released in 1968. SRC is from Detroit. They played a lot with the MC5 and the Stooges. And this is a super fuzzy, uh, heavy garage psych album, late 60s stuff. Uh, just a stunning album. You don't see used copies of this very often and they're almost always beat. So it's nice to have a reissue of that uh, thanks to jackpot for that one um, and also on jackpot we got a reissue of uh, the self-titled wall of voodoo album uh, let's see what's next okay we got this acetone um, I think this is a live set. Yeah, live at Knitting Factory from 1998. Man, this stuff came in a while ago, so I almost forgot that we received this. Record Store Day is such a trip every year. You get the, uh, you place the order months in advance, and then the stuff starts to trickle in, and it trickles in all the way up till record store day itself there's this cool pharaoh sanders seven inch um we got uh, jeff buckley and gary lucas songs to no one 1991 to 1992 we got the another gene clark release this is um unreleased or outtakes i should say from uh the No Other album, one of my all-time favorite cosmic American music albums, No Other. Such a great 
LP, and it's always nice to have more Gene Clark on vinyl. We got Death Cab for Cutie. This is a live show from 2020 at the Showbox. Let's see what else we got in here. We're getting very near the end. All right, we got the Dream Syndicate, uh, sketches for the Days of Wine and Roses, which I assume is demos. Um, yeah, rare cuts from the early days of the Dream Syndicate. Another great LA band. Uh, we got the Groovy Ghoulies, 40 Years of Kepi, and uh, the Groovy Ghoulies. For the first time ever, we got this career-spanning double LP. Uh, a deluxe limited edition anniversary uh, version of Harmonia's Musique von Harmonia with slightly different album art there. The detergent bottle is green this time instead of blue. Joe Pesci recorded an album under the name Little Joe back in the day called Little Joe Sure Can Sing and uh, yeah, 1968 uh, album has been repressed probably for the first time. We've had original copies of these, that album uh, over the years, but that's the first time I've ever seen a reissue. We got another Penrose comp. If you're not already familiar with the Penrose label, I highly recommend checking this stuff out. This is like Southeast LA, Soldies throwback, um, killer, killer, you know, kind of doo woppy uh, soul, uh, low rider vibes. Uh, anyway, great stuff. Penrose label, which is a subsidiary of the Daptone uh, Records imprint. And then we got uh, Prince Far Eye, Cry Tough, Chance On You. Uh, this is Prince Far Eye on the On You Sound record label, uh, Adrian Sherwood's label from 1978 to 1984. We got a limited edition colored vinyl version of the Punk 45. Kill the Hippies, Kill Yourself compilation on Soul Jazz. And a couple more Soul Jazz releases in the mix. We got Studio One, Rude Boy, uh, Double LP Comp, Amazing Reggae stuff, and also 300% uh, Dynamite Double LP Comp here on Transparent Blue Vinyl, Killer Ska, Soul, Rocksteady, Funk and Dub from Jamaica. And last but not least, we got Sun Ra, Pink Elephants on Parade. Uh, this is previously unheard Sun Ra culled from the archives and compiled based on their association to the film Children's Film Corporation with the cartoon Rodent. I think you can guess what that might mean. Uh, let's say Disney without saying Disney, y'all. So yeah, that's it. Record Sore Day 2024, April 20th, we'll be opening at noon at the Permanent Records Roadhouse. Having lots of fun all day long. We got sets later in the evening uh, with Fred Armisen out on the patio and early moods inside. And like I said, and we're always pouring beverages, which means we're 21 and up, record store, live music venue, uh, bar. But you can bank on getting Body Snatchers Band X and Brown Acid, the 18th trip at Permanent Records Roadhouse this Saturday. Sunday, the Saturday, April 20th at noon. Thanks to my neighbor's dog for closing us out here. I'm Lance. Thanks for watching.